Yeah, we've. I think we're going to be releasing in the next week or two a, a really uh, on on the on the section on Visual School some really nice little drills that you can do that will help with reaction time. One of one one of the Visual Schools that you want to develop is reaction, is your reaction time. So um, I'll just run through that drill quickly that you can do just to help. It's it's actually it's got nothing to do with the bat, but it just helps them to react a little bit quicker to the ball. Um, so. You you want to you want to have a flat wall. Use a tennis ball, soft ball. Okay, get them to stand like a meter or two away from that wall. You stand behind them, and all you're going to do is lob the ball over their shoulder at the wall, and they then have to pick that ball up off the wall and catch it. Okay, just start start with easy easy throws to start with. You can gauge where your child is and how old they are and how good uh, you know what what level they are at catching, um, and and just do that, and then. As he starts to get comfortable with the with the easy throws, you can make it a little bit more difficult, make the throws a little bit harder, so it comes off that wall a little bit quicker, and they have to react a little bit quicker. Okay, and it's not a thing of throwing like ten balls and they can do it and think that's fine. Throw them lots of balls off the wall, so it just becomes so they just start moving naturally quickly, and then make it a little bit more difficult. Make them stand a little bit closer to the wall, so that they've got even less time to react to catch that ball. Okay, it's just going to help them with obviously their reaction time. It's not necessarily, it's not um, emulating a bowler, but it's really good to get them uh, switched on and actually to be able to pick the ball up off the wall because they're not watching it coming out of your hand. Um, where, where you, when you get to facing a bowler, the bowler's, you know, he's at the other end of the pitch and you can see it all the way. So it's nice and short and the ball's coming off the wall and you're having to catch it. So it's a great little drill to do with that. Um, with regards to actually facing the bowler, I think the first thing you need to do is just make sure that his head is still when he's when the bowler is running in, that he's not moving around, because that's the first thing that that causes lack of timing is that we're not actually watching the ball. Number one, and the the, the biggest reason for not watching the ball is our head starts, our head is moving, so we're not stable in our stance. Okay, so so just go back and check that, make sure that he's stable. Um, that, that his head is stable, he's actually watching the ball with two eyes. Okay, so his head's not slanted. He can see that ball with two eyes and he's keeping his head still when the ball's being delivered. Okay, and then actually get him to focus on watching the ball. So, throw downs he probably won't have a problem with because part of the timing thing is possibly that the bowler's running in. And, and if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's a bowler running in with a, with a long run up, can be a little bit intimidating for a kid and they start to see the bowler running up and immediately they start to get a bit defensive. They, they're now because of the defensive movement, they don't realize that they're moving. So their eyes are not still um, and it's going to throw their timing out. So I think those are the first things that you need to do and then get him in the nets and, and throw balls at a comfortable pace that he's able to hit and then start to throw them a little bit faster. So in a controlled environment without the bowler bowling, he's able to feel com confident and comfortable at hitting balls all the different shots that he's that he's comfortable at hitting and just slowly speed your throws up and then say to me hey, and i'm actually throwing faster than what the bowlers bowl at you um but it's a great way then to to just make sure that actually he's first his head is still and then he's getting his timing right and then just see how he goes out in the middle and unfortunately again it's about time or, or it's, it's a it's a it's a patience thing where he's just got to face lots of fast bowling and it's not going to change overnight there's no magic wand that you can 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 wave just to suddenly click a, a, a young kid into being able to time the ball of fast bowlers he's just got to he's got to get comfortable and confident with his with his um, technique and with the way he plays and and obviously hitting the balls and and you just progress that throw make it a little bit faster each time build his confidence and then see how he goes against the fast bowlers. And if he's still battling with his timing um, and his reaction time, go back and do those drills. We'll add a couple of extra drills there just to help with that reaction time um, and just be patient. I think, I think that's the best, simplest answer for now, Robert.